Shalom family and welcome back to Feasting on the Word with Shanna Monique. As always, it is an honor and a pleasure to be here with you guys. So I have been trying to record this video literally for hours now. Um, the enemy does not want to get this message out to you guys. But as we already know, the enemy is defeated. So, you know, he has no win. But um, yeah, so I wanted to get on and share a message that the Lord has been placing in my spirit. And um, it's it's funny because the, um, the Father has been showing me many numbers. Uh, it's one of the ways that he communicates with me. And I'm pretty sure at some point he's going to allow me to do a video where he has me um, share some insight on how to understand the language of numbers but for now um he just wanted me to share this revelation with you guys so as of recently one of the numbers that i've been seeing is 9 11 and so i've kind of you know contributed to um amos 9 11 because i know the lord had been speaking to me about just how he's rebuilding he's rebuilding he's rebuilding um uh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can just turn to Amos really, really quick so I can share that with you guys. Um, just give me one moment. Let me get to Amos 11. Okay. So Amos line 11 says, in that day, I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as in the days of old. And so I knew that that was a promise that the Lord had given to me that he was rebuilding me and that he was also rebuilding the promise. There is a promise that he's given um, to my bloodline. And so, you know, I know the Lord would use that scripture as encouragement for me to just hold on to. But the Lord began to speak to me this morning and he was like, you know what, Shannon, there's another part to that. And so, yes, I have had you in a season where I've been rebuilding, but now I want to just kind of give you a little bit more insight as to where you are now. And so um, as I was in, you know, my praise and worship and just praying and just glorifying the Lord, he wanted me to go to a particular scripture that is a promised scripture for me, right? But before I could get to that scripture, I went to my Bible and my Bible was already open. And so the Holy Spirit wanted me to um, just kind of glaze over that page. And when I did, immediately what stuck out to me was nine. And so the Lord, you know, normally he doesn't give me, I don't get monthly messages. I know sometimes um, the prophetic will uh, give uh, messages for the particular month that you are in. And um, it's not anything that I've ever experienced for myself. But this morning, as the Lord began to speak to me, he said, you can let my children know that this is for the month of September. These are the things that you can expect for the month of September. And so um, the passage or the, the uh, book that the Lord had me in was Genesis and it's Genesis chapter nine. And the title of that particular um, chapter is God blesses Noah. And so um, chapter nine, verse one says, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And so as we know, you can be fruitful and multiply apply by childbearing but you can also be fruitful and multiply by um gifts that the lord gives you promises that the lord's given you if the lord has given you a promise of opening up your own business that can be fruitful and it can multiply if the lord has um promised you um ministry you know that ministry can be fruitful and it can multiply and so what the lord is saying that in this season in this month of september you can expect 
um, for the promises of the Lord to be fruitful in your life and you can expect it to multiply and it will also replenish the earth. And so, um, again, the number that the Lord has, one of the numbers that the Lord has been showing me is 911. And so a while ago, you know, I used to look at that number as, you know, something is about to happen. Um, it's an emergency. The Lord needs me to, um, focus on something so that I can keep something tragic from happening. But again, all numbers come from him and there can be a positive meaning and there can also be a negative meaning. And so in this season in my life, um, the Lord had been showing me 9-11 in a more positive light. And so the Lord led me to Genesis 9-11 and verse 11 says, and I will establish I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of the flood. Neither shall there be any more flood to destroy the earth. So whatever it is that you guys have been going through, whatever those things are that have been hindering you, it should be no more. You shall see those things no more. The Lord has given you a covenant. He has given you a promise. The Lord does not go back on his promise. His word does not fall to the ground. His word never returns back to him void. And so with that, you can know and you can stand on um, the, the covenant of the Lord, the promise of the Lord, knowing that those things that have hindered you shall no longer hinder you. And so the Lord wanted me to go even further and read from verses 12 to 17, which I'm not going to read that with you guys now, but I will read verse 12. And verse 12 is titled, um, verse 12 through 19 actually, is titled The Rainbow. I absolutely love rainbows. I seen a rainbow not too long ago. And so what the Lord is saying is in verse 12, and God said, this is a token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. And so again, this is just the Lord saying that not only have I made a covenant with you, but I've given you a token. So I've given you something as a reminder to show you that I am a God of my word. Not only will I say it, but I will also perform it. And I will give you a token to show you that I mean what I say. What I say will come to pass. And that token is the rainbow. And so that was the Lord reminding me, Shannon. I just showed you a rainbow. I want to say maybe it's about two weeks ago. Um, the Lord showed me a rainbow and I was so excited because I knew exactly what the Lord meant by that. Listen, there are, the enemy is using people to try to hinder you. The enemy, or should I say, has used people to try to hinder you. And in the past, maybe those things have worked in the past. Maybe God allowed those things to happen to get your attention. But now we are in a new season. There is nothing that the enemy can do to try to stump you. I don't care what people are saying. I don't care what people are doing. This is a new season. It's not going to hinder you. It's not going to touch you. Why? Because the Lord has spoken. The Lord has given you his covenant. He has given you his promise. And he has given you a token. As the Lord just began to reveal to me what... 9-11 means to me in this season, I couldn't do nothing but just really just get excited. I was already excited, right? But there was just something different in this moment. There was something very different in what the Lord was saying to me this morning. And, you know, I just, again, I had to get on. I had to share that with you. If you want to go ahead and read the full um, chapter of Genesis 9, please feel free to do so. However, this is the season of the rainbow. This is the season of the rainbow. If you've been seeing 9-11, this is why you have been seeing 9-11. If you have been seeing 9, this is why. If you've been seeing 11, this is why. The Lord wants you to know that it is time to be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth. And as you do so, look for your enemy no more. 
they will not be able to stop or hinder you. And until next time, family, I pray that you are blessed, highly favored, and full of joy in the Lord. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Shalom.